Hi everyone, today I'm going to temper and kneel this steel bobby pin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, I'm going to use this lighter and this can of propane and I'm going to create the fire coming out of it, or light up at least. And now, being safe like we always do in any chemistry, science, or physics lab, as well as biology, we use tongs since we're going to heat up metal and if we don't use tongs, it'll burn our hands. That is bad. Also, we use goggles to protect our eyes. Now, as you can see, the steel bobby pin is quite hard to break. Now, let's see what happens when I just heat it up. You will see a little flame coming out. That is plastic burning. Don't be alarmed. Now, you want it to get till it's red hot, as so. Dunk it in some water, and then it breaks. I wonder why, right? Let's try it with another one. Oh, Give me a second, I'm a little slow at this. Now, if I can get a good grip on it. Heating it up again. And you see the fire as well. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. Red hot. Dunk it in some water. And heat it up again. Now, just like last time, it should break. So, why isn't it? Now, the science behind breaking the bobby pin after heating it up and putting it in water is that the structure, the crystalline structure of the steel becomes distorted and it breaks. Now, as you can see, at the bottom of my water, there are a few black speckles. That is from the carbon on the steel. Now, when the carbon's gone, steel becomes really rigid and brittle. So that's why it was so easy, easy to break into two pieces, like such, if hopefully you can see. But when I heated it up, heated it up put it in water, and then heated it up again, I was able to trap some of the remaining carbon inside the steel so that it was still strong. Thank you. Have a nice day.